Hello YouTube, James Blackwell here and in today's video I wanted to share what is a delivery machine in your recruitment agency. So you might have heard me talk a few times around um, having delivery consultants as opposed to the traditional 360 model. So in this video today I break down the exact model step by step and how it works and how you can implement that into your own recruitment agency. So I hope you find this video useful. Uh, please comment and ask any questions or share your advice below and I'll catch you on the other side of the video. Thank you. And then the final part, we've got the delivery machine. So at the moment, most agency owners are probably just doing delivery themselves or you're still doing deals. If you're still doing deals as a business owner, let's be honest, like you might say you love it now, but you, I, I, trust me, you will not love doing that in three to five years time because it's so complex running a business, you will not have time to work on your business and work in the business doing recruitment day to day, which is why you need to move yourself away from delivery if you're still doing delivery yourself. Now that takes time. So that's in, in, in year one, yes, you're going to do delivery because it's all about making money. So you want to, year one, you want to be focusing on getting between 200, maybe to 400K in year one. And then you can start investing in the delivery machine. Now in the delivery machine, so you've got your virtual assistant, it's sourcing. But then you've got the old model was 360 recruiters, yeah? Now, in my humble opinion, and I've taught successfully over 240 recruitment business owners in this model, and I've sk helped scale them to six and seven figures, scaling a 360-degree recruitment agency model is very, very tough. It's very hard to get right, and it's not as profitable. Because if you think about it, like, most of you on this uh, webinar, I'd imagine, started your agency because you wanted freedom, yeah? So you either wanted uh, freedom of time, so you wanted more time back to spend with kids, family, or to do other stuff, so you wanted time back, and you wanted financial freedom, so you wanted to make more money. So you either sick of um, the agency taking 70% of the commission, and you've just been left with 30 40%. So you wanted financial freedom to help like leave a legacy and, and travel the world or do what you want. Now, when you build your own agency, you definitely don't have time. So you end up thinking you have time, but you're actually working more hours. So I'd imagine you're working 60 to 70 hours a week if you're trying to do this properly, if you're doing things the old way. And then financially, it's costing you more money because you've got a lot of costs and overheads. Now, over time, you should be able to make that back and you should be starting to get into getting financial freedom, but you'll not get your time back until you start building this delivery machine out, yeah? So when you get to a point where you're financially free or you've got to a point where you've got a good amount of like 100K and beyond in net cash reserves in your business, then you can start to invest to buy your time back, which is what most people do. But you need to do that with systems and a delivery mechanism, yeah? So how I build out my agency and, and how we build in uh, the Recruit Accelerator program and the new EBA agency model is having a delivery consultant. Now, this is an experienced recruiter. So we hire experienced recruiters and we turn them from a 360 recruiter into a delivery consultant. Now, they still get to manage clients like in terms of like your current clients. So if you could imagine you've got 40 exclusive clients, let's say all of them are exclusive, just working solely with you and you've delivered for them and you've got a VA sourcer that's sourcing an extra deal. Imagine being able to come to an experienced recruiter and say, look, we've got exclusive jobs. I've got a virtual assistant sourcing system that's going to help source candidates for you. There's a few things missing in there, marketing and automation and all the clever stuff that I can help you with further. Um, but you go to that experienced recruiter and say, Instead of you working at this other agency and you're doing, on average, most recruiters do two deals a month, yeah? On average. I know that because I came from a big successful recruitment agency, uh, Nigel Frank, like an S3 group style agency. And that was the, the golden rule. We want to get everyone to two deals a month. I remember doing like five deals a month that I literally busted the gut or six deals, I think. And then next month I blanked because you've run out of pipeline, yeah? And you burnt out. With this model, you're saying that experience recruiter, you don't have to work more than 40 hours a week because you're going to get candidates inbound. You're going to get clients inbound. All they need to do, and you're going to give them all of the tools, all of the automation strategies, um, and all of the systems. So if you imagine you've got all of these systems in the business, that's going to help them do more deals. 
this experience recruit, I can go from doing two deals in the other agency to doing four to six deals a month in your agency. Because all they're doing is delivering. They're just filling jobs. But when you peel back what an experienced recruiter wants, they want more money, number one. Everyone's in recruitment to make money. You're not in it because you love it. Like, yes, you might enjoy it, but really most people fell into recruitment. And why did they fall in recruitment? Because of the opportunity to make endless amounts of money in commission. Because it's meritoric. The more you put in, the more you get out. They got more money, but then they want more freedom and time. So if they're going to work for someone else, they want holidays because they want holidays with their husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend. And you want to be able to buy like nice things and, and, and progress is important. So progression in a company, which you can give them more because they're going to be happier because they're going to be, because they're going to be working less. they are going to work less and be more trusted. So you give them more, you can give them remote homework and, and you can give them more because you're going to fill them with jobs. So you're going to get more jobs inbound and they're going to get candidates inbound. And then they're going to make more commission, which in circle makes them more money. And that's going to free you up from delivery. So then you can work on the business and start really nailing down this new era agency model. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, Mohammed. I'm looking to start an agency. Uh, will you cover different types of courses you run? Yeah, we have one program, which is Recruit Accelerator, and that'll help you scale to six figures. And then we have a seven-figure elite mastermind, uh, which I've got around about uh, 20 of the best uh, students from Recruit Accelerator, and we help them get to seven figures and beyond. Anna, what is a VA? It's a virtual assistant. So a virtual assistant in the Philippines. So let me know if you've got any other questions on this. So these should be give things that you can go away and implement. So define your niche, get leads inbound. So create an email automation, video outreach, LinkedIn automation, maybe a letter or giftology will generate your leads once you've mapped out your market. Um, Daniel Poole is asking what would the dollar burn rate be for implementing the systems automation stuff in your area? I don't know what you mean by burn rate, but in terms of costs, um, not much. Uh, you obviously your VA is $500 a month and some of the tools are around $60 a month, $80 a month. LinkedIn is separate. Like every, every recruiter needs LinkedIn. So I wouldn't even associate that with these costs because whether it's the old model or new model, you would be using LinkedIn. I wouldn't use Zoom Info, it's expensive. Uh, Saeed, for email automation, when do you interfere to find a potential client and you take control and send them in? As soon as you get a reply. Email automation is only to get a reply. Once you get a reply, you take it from automation to manual. Uh, Alan's asking, would you expect a credible BA to have access to job boards or would you need to provide access to these? No, you're going to get, you're going to, you're going to provide the access to the job boards because you can build. I talk around building a virtual assistant in house. Like, so you can start off like by getting someone to upwork a fiver, but the ideal scenario, which is what I teach in the program is building assets in your business. And an asset will be having a virtual team that works just solely for you. Because then eventually if you want to sell a business, you've got these as assets and you've got more control. <clears throat> 